today's topic for discussion is a description of a specific plant that is cassia saimia common name of this plant is cassia tree and it is a medium sized evergreen tree the family of this tree is cisalpinaceae it is very common in tropical and subtropical regions of the world let us see how is the habit it is a medium sized tree just i told you it has smooth gray colored bark the stem is solid woody highly branched and root system it is a tap root system and it is branched hence it is a dicot plant next this is the leaf of cassia saimia family cisalpinaceae leaf is bipinnate by means to bipinnate leaf and it is a peripinnately compound leaf peripinnate means the leaf compound leaf is having even number of leaflets hence it is called peripinnate compound leaf a leaf is ex stipulate stipule is absent a leaf is structure at the base of the leaf is absent when the stipule is absent in taxonomic language it is described as ex stipulate to the leaf a stalk is present hence it is a petiolate leaf and to each leaflet again a small stalk is present hence it is described as petiolulate leaf even the leaflet is having a st small stalk which is known as petiolule and petiolule is present then it is a petiolu petiolulate leaf okay phyllotaxy arrangement of the leaves on the in the on the stem that is phyllotaxy is alternate rachis is long leaflets are oblong or elliptical in shape base of the leaflet is rounded and apex is also rounded or blunt or obtuse it is also described as obtuse next this is the back side of the leaf next inflorescence inflorescence arrangement of the flowers in the uh, on the flowering shoot it is known as inflorescence inflorescence in cassia saimia family cisalpinaceae it is terminal compound paniculate type of inflorescence occurs in this plant what is terminal compound paniculate type of inflorescence let us see it is a racemose type of inflorescence it is branched each branch consists of a small raceme of flowers the terminal buds of each branch flower branch of the flowering shoot grows continuously which produces many side shoots on which flowers are produced in this case the main repro reproductive shoot and the lateral branches both bear flowers such type of arrangement of the flowers on flowering shoot is described as terminal compound paniculate inflorescence okay next this is a branch of inflorescence this is also a branch of inflorescence of branch branch of flowering shoot let us see how is the flower flower is yellow colored it is a bracteate flower see this in the photograph at the base of the flower there is a small bract is present it is small but it is elongated linear in shape or lanceolate in shape bract is long when the bract is present in the flower then flower is described as bracteate flower okay and pubescent pedicellate flower because stalk is present to the flower hence it is pedicellate flower pedicel means stalk of the flower hence it is pedicellate flower pedicel how is the pedicel pedicel is long flower is pentamerous penta means five five petals are there flower is hermaphrodite bisexual both male and female uh, gametes are present androecium and gynoecium both are present in the flower hence the flower is bisexual color of the flower is turmeric yellow beautiful yellow and the flower is slightly zygomorphic okay next this is the front view of the flower next 
this is back side of the flower flower of cassia cymia family cisalpinaceae this is separately taken a bract of the cassia cymia flower bract it is green in color it is long lanceolate lance shaped okay and linear when the bract is present in the flower that flower is described as bracteolate already i told you next this is the calyx calyx is the first storal of the flower mostly it is green in color and this calyx we have separated before separation of the sepals the calyx looks like this there are five sepals let us see the details of the calyx calyx consists of sepals all the sepals together known as calyx there are five units of calyx that are that means there are five sepals sepals are not sepals are are, are of different shapes hence described as dimorphic and the sepals are broadly ovoid glabrous hairy okay polysepalous means they are free poly means free free sepals are free they are not united sepals are yellowish green ovoid in shape with obtuse apex obtuse apex means blunt apex next this is the corolla of cassia cymia family cisalpinaceae flower is pentamerous petals are five corolla consists of petals there are five petals yellow colored petals are broadly obovate and petal is having a stalk like structure which is known as claw hence it is described as cloud okay polypetalous condition is there petals are free and the claw is long and distinct okay such type of petals are present in cassia cymia family cisalpinaceae next let us see androecium of cassia cymia androecium is male part of the flower and it consists of stamens and each stamen consists of filament and anther there are total 10 stamens present in cassia cymia out of 10 stamens seven stamens are fertile and three stamens are sterile these sterile stamens they are this they are also called as staminodes and the anthers of staminodes do not produce pollen grains the filaments are thick they are straight twice longer than the anther and the anther is basi fixed the, uh, the the basal region of the anther is attached to the filament hence it is basi fixed anther anthers are brown in color okay next this is the female part of the flower gynoecium gynoecium consists of ovary style and stigma ovary is superior because the calyx stamens are originated from base of the ovary calyx stamens and petals are originated from base of the ovary hence the ovary is described as superior superior ovary is also known as hypogynous and the gynoecium the style is linear grooved and curved slightly curved glabrous okay next this is the fruit of cassia cymia and family cisalpinaceae fruit it is a pod linear pod and tardily dehiscent along both sutures after maturity suture means line of dehiscence which is naturally present a line of dehiscence on the fruit that is known as suture or incision and the fruit opens along both the side of the pod uh, after maturity to release the seeds okay next this is the floral diagram of cassia cymia family cisalpinaceae five petals are shown in the photograph five 
सेपल सारल शोन एंड एंड्रोशियम एंड गायनोशियम कंप्लीटली शोन इन द फोटोग्राफ नैचुरली वी आर वी हैव टेकन द फोटोग्राफ बट इट इज अ इनकम्प्लीट फ्लोरल डायग्राम फॉर फ्लोरल डायग्राम यू हैव टू फॉलो द बुक्स ऑफ बुक्स ऑफ टेक्सोनॉमी ओके टेक फ्लोरल डायग्राम फ्रॉम बुक्स just to create your interest in the taxonomy this floral diagram is taken here next this is also a incomplete floral diagram just to create your interest in the flowering plant and flowering trees we have made this ppt next thank you very much save trees save earth